What's up everybody? I am so excited. I feel like I start every video like that. I'm so excited. I'm so excited, but I am seriously so excited because this morning I got on the scale and uh, I, you guys know that I've been doing carnivore for a while, which is still, I'm having a hard time wrapping my mind around the results I'm getting because I always felt like if I wasn't eating like salads and huge bowls of salads and lots of vegetables and just moderate amounts of protein like i wasn't eating healthy right that's kind of the paradigm the mindset i've been in and you guys have seen i'm sure if you follow me on instagram you've seen the posts of my salads of always eating like lots of vegetables and stuff well i had been doing um a little bit of research on um, hormones and things like that because i've been still struggling with uh, hormones you know i thought at one point in time that i had it fixed and i didn't and you know being a woman in menopause um it's frustrating and if you can't sleep at night that is extremely frustrating and so i've been dealing with that and so i decided to do carnivore well this is my second um, time on carnivore the first time I did 30 days and I felt really good um, so I'm a few weeks into another stint on carnivore I'd actually taken some time off and and uh, did my traditional keto which is tons of salad you know clean right tons of salad um, lots of you know cruciferous vegetables um, getting protein clean uh, protein sources but moderate amounts of protein all oh, the hot flashes came back with a vengeance you guys which yeah right like what <laughs> i'm eating clean i'm eating i'm prioritizing vegetables prioritizing clean healthy protein i'm not overeating on protein like what is going on right so i was like hmm you know i felt really good on carnivore let's do it again so i'm like literally two weeks in my second time on carnivore and got on the scale this morning you guys since i went back on carnivore i've lost six pounds i'm 51 years old and i've been struggling even though i was eating clean even though i was doing what i was supposed to do you know working out and things like that like i have been struggling so bad just if you guys are out there you know women who are in this time of our life like menopause when you know uh the hormones don't react the same way they don't do the same things with they did when we were younger whereas if we were if we were eating clean when we we're like say 25 or whatever and doing all the things well we would be having rock hard abs right and toned arms and toned like we would look amazing right because we have that hormonal um, language going on in the body well that changes once you hit a certain age and i think it's a little bit different for everybody um but for me personally so i was digging right digging trying to find the answers you know taking okay so this is what i'm physically going through this is what i'm doing you know is it working that kind of thing and so i started watching like a lot of dr ken berry videos the beef and butter gal videos and things like that and there's several other um doctors i don't remember their names um that are very there's one lady that dr ken berry she's a doctor i think she's an eye doctor i don't remember her name but dr ken berry had interviewed her and she's been carnivore for 13 years now before i tell you what's been going on i want you to understand that I'm not a doctor and I don't necessarily know all the ins and outs and everything. I only know what's been going on with my body personally. And because I've been on this health, weight loss, body composition more in the last couple of years journey, I honestly think that there's a different protocol for different times of your life. You don't want to follow certain diets maybe when you're... Um, pregnant or uh, nursing or um, maybe in a bikini competition or something like that there's always variables right there's always different nutritional needs at different stages in your life um, i'm just been finding what's working for me so take everything i say with a grain of salt and measure it against what you know is good for your body because um, only you know how you feel right nobody else knows that's why this is still kind of blowing my mind because everything that i thought i knew about nutrition like it's different now i'm having to take a totally different approach so i you guys in two weeks i cr 
I kid you not, two weeks, I've lost six pounds, which, wow, right? I was aiming for a pound if I was lucky a week, but I've lost six pounds. I have one of those digital scales that tells me um, what my fat percentage is, what my BMI is percentages, what my muscle percentage is, all of that. I have gained an entire percent of muscle in two weeks. I have uh, lost an entire percentage of body fat in two weeks. Um, I'm more hydrated than I've been in a really long time. And um, my BMI went down, obviously. And I feel like I feel really good. Um, the hot flashes are starting to diminish again. Um, it's taken a little while and um, like at first when I first went back on carnivore I was literally up at night probably I want to say seven times <laughs> I would literally come in here in the office because there's a nice breeze that comes through this window I would come into the office and I would just be like oh god please I would put like a um, ice pack on my chest because when you're sitting here I, you could literally see the steam coming off my chest that's how freaking hot I was and I would just be like miserable just trying to get some sleep at night and I couldn't and so that's diminishing I think I was only up like once or twice last night and just to be clear I'm not 100% no um no plant material at all I'm still doing coffee I am plan to um go to decaf at some point in the future I'm still doing coffee um I'm still doing uh organic stevia um, I am doing some dairy, not a lot. Um, I try to limit myself to five days a week, the days that I work, just doing um, just doing beef and butter, eggs, bacon, that kind of thing. And then uh, a couple of days of the week, I'll incorporate other things like cheeses and stuff like that, just to kind of add a little variety and keep me interested. So I'm not like, oh my gosh, please, somebody take me out of my misery because this is so freaking boring. It can be. But what's not boring is results, you guys. That's not boring. And, oh, and I forgot to tell you, I lost an entire inch in two weeks, an entire inch off my waist, right? I am working out. I get up every morning and I um, I was doing like a leg day, ab day, arm day, but now um, I kind of like decided to take it up a notch and I'm doing uh, what I was doing on my arm, my leg, and my ab day. I'm doing that all at one time. Uh, in the morning so I'm getting more workouts in and I'm only doing one cardio day a week and I'm doing the stairs at the courthouse by my house as fast as I can do them pretty big set of stairs uh, three times today I did it four times but I had to rest in between at the very end so working it um, I just I'm so excited I, I say that a lot but <laughs> I seriously am I'm so excited for my results and if this is inspiring anybody, just leave a like, uh, share anything that may have inspired you. And if you have any advice, psh, I'll take it. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a great day. Bye.